plumber block select sketch in a front plane then draw two vertical lines in which the main part we create the base first it's given that 14 is the height of the base and 168 is the width of the base so offset the center line for 84 on both sides then extend the lines offset the baseline for 14 then from the end of this line click 4 with angle 0 then join to the down corner repeat the same for here from there join to the end corner take trim option delete the unwanted things we will get a sketch return option from their protrusion so it's given select from the sketch protrusion select from the sketch ok symmetric extent at a distance of 36 one thing is done next protrude on the top surface so collect the top surface of the base take a circle of diameter 86 place it at the center take line join these circles so that it can be easy for trimming trim the unwanted reds give return again protrusion select from the sketch give distance 41 enter now we have to cut the portions select sketch select the face of the previously built block project two lines one straight the other horizontal so that it can be easily offset now take offset command offset the horizontal line for 12 from 12 again 3 now offset the vertical line for 22 on both sides again the same line 19 on both sides now take a circle of diameter 38 place it enter now trim the unwanted th things zoom it so that it can be trimmed properly
now it's done again return choose cutout select from the sketch choose the sketch previously done click ok next cut out through all it's done now we need to create the down portions where the rectangular is cut of 2, dimen 2 mm thickness so choose sketch turn the block a bit select the down space now create a rectangle offset the entire rectangle at a distance of 8 and delete the remaining re outside rectangle created first now mirror now mirror this entire rectangle to the other side so that you can cut it asymmetrically give return command cut out select from the sketch at a distance of 2 it's done so we have to fillet the inner surfaces so take round give the radius as 1 select all the inner edges give it a zoom it's easy to cut it's done now again select sketch select the same surface so that you can place two circles of diameter 10.5 now take dimension options make the dimensions to be 31 now construct a square using right line straight lines now it's done now we can mirror the entire thing both the circle as well as the square now it's done go for return option again cut out cut out from the sketch and give it
and the ends are not joined take trim of trim corner option and you can do it it's right now it's right come back give cut out select from the sketch it's given that the square must be at a height of 7 from the rectangle previously cut but we are cutting from the end surface so we will cut it at a distance of 9 give the distance as 9 enter so we will get it now again it select the cutout choose the circles give cut through all so that it cuts to the entire thing so now we can see that it's done now select sketch the same surface once again we have to cut another two holes at the extreme ends now take a line offset this line at a distance of 64 on both sides draw two horizontal lines at these lines now offset these side lines at a distance of 4 on each side again this line the same thing now offset this horizontal line at a distance of 5 now take a circle give a diameter of 10 and place it at the centers trim the unwanted, th unwanted lines now it's done now repeat the same thing on the other side take a circle of diameter 10 place it at this point trim the rest all lines this one is perfectly done so it's better to take a mirror of this now it's done again go to return choose cut cut out option select from the sketch it's done give throughout now it's done now 
the last part remaining is creating a hole at the center for this a easy method is create a parallel plane at a distance of 55 from the previously horizontal plane take hole option choose the plane go to this give tapered first select so that we can then threaded and a countersink it's given that the diameter is 6 so let it be M6 hole depth is 40 count the distance select 40 enter keep it at the center go to return option down now it's done go for tools materials click the material to be cast iron a 40 type apply to the model give save option title is body enter again create a new folder enter it's done